Until now, Africa remains the most unexplored continent on Earth. New finds on the continent continue to amaze scientists. Archaeologists from all over the world are fighting for the right to be the first to discover the secrets of the origin of mankind. Where has this race gone? Today we will show the discoveries in Africa that shocked humanity. Hi friend, you're on the Kurtop channel. Oldest known species of Homo sapiens Under the dome of the Moroccan sky, in a place called Jabal Urhud, archaeologists have made an amazing discovery. They have found the oldest remains of Homo sapiens known to us, namely our direct ancestors. It turns out that these remains and stone tools found nearby date back to between 350,000 and 280,000 years ago. That's a whole 100,000 years older than the oldest specimens of Homo sapiens we've known so far. Unidentified head Heads from Lidenberg is a set of clay heads discovered in South Africa. They are dated 500 AD and are the oldest known examples of Iron Age art south of the equator. In 1957, as a 10-year-old boy, Ludwig von Basseng found these hats on his father's farm. A total of seven hats were found. Two of them are large enough to put in a child's hat, the other five are half the size. They are all different, but each has something in common. For example, clay neck rings, which perhaps symbolize prosperity. Perhaps they were worn as masks due during rituals or they were attached to something during ceremonies. Child of Tong This is the story of a small child from Tong whose skull, found in 1924, was one of the first ancient human fossils in Africa. The uniqueness of the Tong child's skull lies in its structure. For the first time, scientists have seen evidence of vertical bipedal walking in ancient humans. It's all about the opening called the large foramen magnum, through which the spinal cord connects to the brain. And this child is located in front of the skull, which is typical for creatures that move into legs, unlike monkeys, in which it is shifted back. We learned about the age of the Tong child through the study of teeth. The first molars were just beginning to erupt, which indicates that the child was very young. He was just over three years old. Scientists suggest that he was attacked by an eagle, which killed him. It's all about the unique marks found at the bottom of the baby's eye sockets. They are very similar to those left by eagle claws and beaks when they attack monkeys. This hypothesis is also pushed by the finds of eggshells found at the site and an unusual set of animal bones, mostly small ones, which often become the prey of modern birds of prey. Lost Golden City under a layer of sand that is thousands of years old, scientists have discovered an ancient city in Egypt. Under the guidance of the famous Egyptologist Zahi Hoas, the city was found near Luxor, where the Valley of the Kings is located. The city known as Aten is the largest ever discovered in Egypt. It is about 3,000 years old. It was founded during the reign of Amenhotep III and continued to be used under Tutankhamun and Ai. Scientists confidently declare that this is the second most important archaeological discovery after the tomb of Tutankhamun. Jewelry, colored pottery, amulets in the form of scarab beetles, and clay bricks with the seals of Amenhotep III were found here. Several districts have already been discovered at the excavation site, including a bakery with ovens and pottery storage, as well as administrative and residential quarters. Archaeologists are confident that this city will give us a new look at the life of the ancient Egyptians at a time when their empire was at the peak of its prosperity. Scientists hope that further excavations will bring even more amazing in finds. Homo Naledi at the Rising Star Cave in South Africa in 2013, a team led by Lee Berger discovered the remains of more than 15 Homo Naledi. This find is the largest collection of one type of ancient people found in Africa. Unexpectedly, another 133 Homo Naledi specimens were found in the adjacent Lassetti room belonging to at least three individuals, two adults and one child, and this was done in just one expedition. Interestingly, the teeth of Homo naledi differ from the teeth of other Homo species that lived in the same era, which may indicate a different lifestyle and environment. Unraveling the mystery of the mummified bishop Today we have an unusual story from the 17th century. A small mummified fetus was found between the legs of the prominent bishop Peter Winstrup. Bishop Winstrup was a prominent figure in the Lutheran Church. 
and after his death in 1679, he was buried in the crypt of the cathedral in Lund. Scientists have been trying for several years to understand who this baby is, and thanks to DNA analysis, they determined that he is most likely the, the grandson of a bishop. The boy was not fully developed, and the researchers suggest that his mother had a miscarriage in the six months of pregnancy. The bishop and the child shared 25% of their genetic material, indicating second-order kinship. After analyzing the baby's DNA and Winstrup's family tree, scientists came to the conclusion that the boy is the son of the bishop's son. The grandson was buried alone with his grandfather. This case once again underlines how unusual and fascinating it can be to study the past with the help of archaeology and genetics. After all, this is how we can restore stories that have gone untold for centuries. Australopithecus Deiramida Meet the new relative Lucy on our human family tree. Scientists led by Dr. Johannes Hale Selassie have discovered a new species of human ancestors, 3.3, 3.5 million years old. These have very ancient and unique finds. After studying the jaws found in the Afar region in Ethiopia, scientists gave them a name, Australopithecus Deiramida. It's interesting, but this ancestor lived at the same time as the Lucy we know. The species Lucy, or Australopithecus afarensis, existed from 2.9 to 3.8 million years ago, and it's its lifetime overlapped with the new species Australopithecus zeramida. Australopithecus zeramida differs from Lucy in the shape and size in its teeth and jaws, which tells us that they ate different foods. Scientists have long argued whether only one species of human ancestors could exist at one time between 3 and 4 million years ago, which then turned into another new species. But this new discovery changes everything. This discovery is essential for our understanding of the ecology of early human ancestors. Now we have new questions. How different human ancestors living at the same time and geographical area could use the common area and available resources? Pyramids of Miro Everyone knows the huge pyramids of Egypt, but Sudan has the largest collection of these amazing ancient structures. What a twist, huh? Sudan is often associated with civil wars and disease, but this country is a treasure trove for lovers of culture and history. At the top of the list are the pyramids of Moreau. They were built in Nubia, one of the first civilizations of ancient Africa, and served as a place of eternal rest for the last pharaohs of the ancient city of Moreau. Over 200 pyramids located on three sites were built at royal graves for 40 kings and queens who ruled the kingdom of Nubia Kush for more than 1,000 years. This period is known as the Meroitic period. Unlike the pyramids of Giza, the pyramids of Moreau are built of granite and sandstone and are characterized by small bases and steep slopes. Many artifacts are found inside the tombs – ceramics, glass, quivers with arrows. Even despite the destruction, the pyramids retain their magic, especially at dawn and dusk. Best reliefs depicting scenes from ancient Egyptian mythology indicate a strong cultural influence. Alien Sky Blue Stones for billions of years, our planet has attracted many meteorites, and people have always collected their pieces. One of these is Sky Stone, or Heavenly Stone, discovered in 1990 by archaeologist Angelo Pittoni in Sierra Leone. Local legends say that these stones were creatures living in the heavens that God turned into stones and cast to earth for their sins. Pittoni sent the stone to laboratories in Rome, Germany, and Tokyo for analysis. The stone was 77% oxygen, 20% carbon and lime, with traces of silicon and other materials. The results of the analysis showed that the stone is different from any other stone on Earth and probably arrived here from 2,500 to 17,000 years ago. Oldest Stone Age Tools Stone tools found in Kenya, older than the grandmother of dinosaurs, 3 million years old. But scientists cannot understand who created these masterpieces. These artifacts are the first cooking tools, rather, for cutting meat and crushing plants, like ancient knives and blenders. It was a real breakthrough in history. The bones of antelopes and hippos were also found at the same excavations, and with obvious traces of these guns. And imagine, our ancestors ate raw meat. Maybe they even made something 
them like the ancient Tata. These tools are so well made that they can compete with the fangs of a lion. And now the main plot twist. What if the tools were created not by our ancestors, but by other primates? The bones found nearby did not belong to Homo sapiens, but Paranthropes, extinct primates. Perhaps the ancient apes were smarter than we thought. Mysterious Nubian Stone Tablets in the necropolis of Sedenga in northern Sudan, a huge collection of inscriptions in one of the oldest written languages of Africa, Meroitic, was discovered. This sandy area was once part of an ancient Nubia, famous for its gold mines. Nubia was home to some of Africa's earliest kingdoms, and some of them even ruled Egypt as pharaohs. Archaeologists believe that Sedenga was a key site for trade routes leading directly to Egypt through desert roads. Most surprisingly, archaeologists have discovered the largest largest collections of tags in the Meroisic language. These inscriptions are commemorative and most likely dedicated to death. Many artifacts at Seringa were dedicated to high-ranking women. After all, in Nubia, a matriarchal society, following the family lineage through the female line was very important. The continent continues to amaze with new discoveries. It's scary to imagine what else awaits us ahead. I hope Africa is still full of such mysteries like in this video about the finds that forced scientists to rewrite history. See you on Kurtop.